Out there, beyond the warmth of the sun, where light itself grows thin and silence stretches into eternity, a lonely traveler continues its endless journey. Voyager 1, launched in 1977, was never meant to live this long, never meant to cross into interstellar space, never meant to speak to us nearly half a century later. And yet, against all odds, it still whispers back to Earth. For decades, its faint voice carried nothing more than the cold truths of science, measurements of magnetic fields, counts of cosmic particles, the raw pulse of a machine surviving in the abyss. But then something changed. Recently, a transmission arrived that was not routine, not data in the usual sense, but a message unlike any it had ever sent before. Buried in the static were patterns, deliberate, structured, terrifyingly precise. It was not noise, and it was not an error. It was something else. Inside NASA, those who first saw the transmission didn't react with celebration or curiosity. They reacted with fear. Because Voyager 1 is farther from Earth than any machine in history, and if something out there is now speaking through it, then humanity may not be as alone in the cosmos as we once believed. This is the story of the last message from Voyager 1 and why it has caused panic at NASA. To understand the weight of this moment, we need to step back to where it all began. Voyager 1 left Earth in 1977 during the golden age of space exploration, a twin alongside Voyager 2, meant to capture humanity's first close-up views of the outer planets. It dazzled us with images of Jupiter's swirling storms, Saturn's majestic rings, and moons that looked like miniature worlds. But its mission was never meant to end there. Gravity assists hurled it out of the planetary region of the solar system, giving it escape velocity, sending it into a path that would eventually lead beyond the reach of our sun. Scientists thought it would fade after a decade or two, its systems shutting down quietly in the cold. Instead, its radio voice has endured for almost 50 years, growing weaker with distance but still clear enough to interpret. And in 2012, Voyager 1 did what no human artifact had ever done. It crossed the heliopause, leaving behind the protective bubble of solar particles and entering true interstellar space. Suddenly, humanity had a witness outside the influence of our sun, a lone ambassador sailing through the unknown. For years, what it sent back was thrilling but predictable. Measurements of plasma density, cosmic rays, and interstellar winds. Nothing suggested mystery, only data. But when its most recent message arrived, Something inside the familiar rhythm had changed. It was as if Voyager's steady voice had cracked, allowing something alien to bleed through. Communicating with Voyager is like listening for the faintest heartbeat in the void. Its 22-watt transmitter, weaker than the light bulb in your refrigerator, now struggles across 15 billion miles, a journey that takes over 22 hours to reach Earth. By the time the signal arrives, it is so faint it could easily be lost in background noise. And yet, thanks to the enormous dishes of the deep space network, humanity can still hear it. For decades, this connection was comforting. A reminder that even across impossible distances, we could still reach one of our creations. But in 2023, the comfort turned to dread. Engineers noticed that embedded within the familiar flow of scientific data were repeating sequences, irregular at first, but too structured to be dismissed as static. The transmission carried what looked like coded information, a rhythm that pulsed against the silence of space. Some dismissed it as a corrupted memory register inside Voyager's failing hardware. After all, the probe is nearly 50 years old, running on technology less powerful than a digital watch. But others were unsettled. If it was a glitch, why did the sequences repeat with such precision? Why did the patterns resemble structures too intentional to be random? As one engineer whispered off record, it looks like Voyager isn't speaking alone anymore. The whisper crossed the deep space network, then NASA, and finally the scientific world. Had Voyager truly encountered something? And was it trying to tell us? Inside NASA, the debate quickly turned into unease. Voyager is not just a spacecraft. It is a symbol, a relic of optimism, carrying with it the famous golden record, a message from humanity to the cosmos. For it to now send something back that we do not understand is more than anomaly. It is irony, as though the universe has chosen this very vessel to answer us. Closed-door meetings intensified, 
with officials weighing how much to reveal to the public. Could they admit that Voyager's signal had changed, that it was transmitting patterns no one could explain? Doing so risked igniting speculation of alien contact, something agencies are notoriously cautious to address. But behind those doors, the whispers grew. Some believed Voyager had encountered an interstellar plasma wave so unique it etched itself into the signal. Others considered more radical possibilities, that an unknown intelligence had intercepted its weak transmissions and was now speaking back through the same channel. To the outside world, NASA remained calm, offering vague statements about anomalous data under review. But within the organization, panic was no exaggeration. This was not just about science, it was about control. Because when the most distant machine ever built begins sending messages you cannot decode, the narrative of human dominance over technology and over the universe begins to crack. What makes this moment even more haunting is timing. Voyager 1 is dying. Its plutonium power source, which has already lasted decades beyond expectation, is fading rapidly. One by one, instruments are being shut down to conserve energy, until soon, even its voice will fall silent forever. This means that whatever it just sent us could be the last thing we ever hear from it. And that last message, rather than a neat scientific conclusion, has left us with fear and uncertainty. Was it the failing gasp of a dying probe, a last spark of corrupted code masquerading as mystery? Or was it exactly what it appeared to be? An intentional pattern, a message embedded in the signal, proof that something out there has noticed us? The irony is devastating. We sent Voyager out as a messenger, carrying greetings and music to the stars, never expecting a reply. But now, just as its voice begins to fade, it may have sent us a reply of its own, one that no one knows how to interpret. And that possibility is what terrifies NASA most of all. Because the last word of humanity's farthest traveler may not belong to us. It may belong to the universe itself. As the data spread among teams, NASA's public communication grew colder, more calculated. The agency that once proudly shared every update about Voyager's journey suddenly turned quiet, offering only vague phrases about unexpected telemetry. Behind the curtain, tension rose. Why hide something if it was only a malfunction? Why delay analysis if the answer was simple? Engineers who had worked decades on the probe found themselves cut out of private meetings. Intelligence agencies requested briefings, and whispers of classification began to circulate. The silence became louder than any official statement. To the public, it looked like NASA was simply managing aging hardware. But to those inside, the silence carried another message. Something in Voyager's last transmission was too disruptive, too dangerous to explain away. The irony was impossible to ignore. Voyager 1 was launched with the golden record, a message from humanity to the cosmos, Greetings in dozens of languages, sounds of Earth, and music meant to show who we are. It was our gift, our invitation, our hope that maybe someone, someday, would find it. But now, with its last breath, Voyager had sent back something strange, something undecipherable, and it looked like an answer. Scientists began to wonder, what if the very act of broadcasting made us visible? What if the patterns in Voyager's transmission were not random at all, but a reply? The possibility that the golden record had been heard made the anomalies far more unsettling. Because if this was contact, then it wasn't through a telescope or a distant signal from the stars. It was through a dying machine we launched half a century ago. A machine that may have become the first bridge between humanity and whatever else is out there. Voyager's final transmissions may already be dwindling, its power too weak to sustain its instruments for much longer. Yet instead of closing its story with clarity, it has left us with uncertainty and dread. What if the patterns continue? What if the next transmission carries something even clearer, something unmistakable, that cannot be hidden behind vague NASA statements? And what if the silence that follows is not because Voyager's power finally died, but because something on the other side decided it should stop speaking altogether? These are the questions haunting the engineers who wait for each weak pulse across billions of miles. Because every time Voyager whispers now, it is not just data, it is a potential revelation. And every time it goes silent, humanity wonders if we have just heard the last word, not only from Voyager, but from the unknown waiting in the dark. 
Voyager 1 was never supposed to last this long. It was never supposed to escape the solar system, never supposed to outlive its creators, never supposed to be speaking to us after nearly half a century. And yet, here it is, still whispering from a place no human will ever see, sending back fragments of data that may change everything we believe about the universe. Its last message has not brought us comfort or closure. It has brought us fear, patterns too precise to be chance, anomalies too deliberate to be dismissed, rhythms that look less like machine error and more like communication. Inside NASA, the panic is not because Voyager has failed, but because it may have succeeded too well. For decades, humanity has stared into the void, wondering if anyone was out there. Now, at the very end of its life, Voyager may have answered, but in a language we cannot yet understand. Was it just a malfunction? The final flicker of a dying probe? Or was it something else? An echo from beyond the heliosphere, a sign that the universe is not empty, but aware? We may never know for certain, because Voyager is fading, its power source dwindling, its voice growing weaker with each passing year. Soon, it will go silent forever. And when that happens, we will be left with nothing but questions, haunted by the possibility that in its final breath, Voyager became the first messenger of humanity's contact with the unknown. The panic at NASA is not about what was already heard. It is about what might have been left unsaid, what could have been waiting in the next signal, in the next whisper, in the silence that now looms. Because sometimes, the most terrifying thing in the universe is not what speaks. It is the thought that something out there has already heard us and is deciding whether and when to answer back. If you want to follow every update, every hidden leak, and every revelation about Voyager's final transmissions, like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Because the last word from the edge of the universe may not just change science, it may change humanity itself.